What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, AM, coming to you with an unboxing video. Today's video is stimulated. Because what we have today is the Mac Mini! For the AMPM Studios. We'll be opening this up in a bit. So stay tuned. Alright, we have our unboxing knife right here. Shout out to Cuz for giving it to me. It will cut and open any box that stands in its way. And so what we have right here that's in the way is the Apple Mac Mini with the M1 chip. As everybody that got the stimulus check, we decided to stimulate the economy. The Apple econ economy and picking up this very cool, very awesome product. This is like a little mini portable desktop computer. Uh, like I said before, it comes with the M1 chip, which is really unique. It's Apple's in-house developed CPU. Uh, most people usually go with um, AMD or Intel, but this architecture in this desktop is ARM-based. Many people didn't have high hopes for the ARM architecture, but it turns out it's pretty sweet. So this CPU pretty much beats many of the computers out on the market. And it may not have all the additional power, like having a very strong GPU or maybe having a lot of RAM, but the way it's designed and uses the Mac operating system as well as their apps and things, this works just as well. So actually it's a pretty good deal for you to get if you're like want to get into like the lower end um, Apple ecosystem. Uh, will this compete with higher end hardware? No, but you're not paying that same price. Usually to get a very good high-end computer is going to cost you three grand. Uh, this only comes in at $899 because we bought the additional storage for it. Although we could probably buy like a hard drive and had it hooked up to it. I don't like the look of that, so I just double in the storage will kind of work for us. Uh, we're usually going to use this for Final Cut Pro. We also got Logic. So we're gonna start making our own music for the channel. And having about 512 gigabytes will help with that. Logic takes about like 100 gigabytes for all their like uh, uh, instruments that you can, and plugins that you have for that system. And then with uh, Final Cut, it, that uses a lot of um, hard drive space as well. Cause you know, it caches like all the renders and everything on on that and it's pretty cool I'm pretty uh, excited for this thing uh, like right here on the top it says the Mac Mini um, and the size there's nothing usually white Apple has it all white it's kind of like their aesthetic kind of that IKEA aesthetic and so here on the top we got the specs it's 8 gigabyte RAM memory it's unified so that the CPU can throw things on there it's a little bit different than typically how your computer works um, but right now, I think that's gonna be sufficient enough for us. Typically you wanna get 16 or more if you're doing very um, heavy type of um, a workload. But this is not what this is designed for. This is perfect, adequate enough for what we do here on our channel. So that it works out pretty well. Um, there's not a, a, like a huge significant increase in performance from going from eight to 16. But having 16 just en enables you to you know, future proof this for a little bit longer. But that's not why we picked this up. This is basically gonna be the, the new baseline going forward for all of the Apple's new operating system uh, for their desktop um, and laptops. So it comes out with uh, Big Sur and the way they did it is it's all ARM based. So all the apps like for the iPhones and things will transition over to that and it will go into this very unique ecosystem. Everything on the iPad and also on the iPhone work very, very well. And so I think that transition over to like the desktop is gonna be very cool as well. And we're gonna see like optimization up the wazoo, that's my guess. And so this is basically gonna be the baseline. So going forward, 
everything that you buy from Apple is going to be better than this, but this is going to be a standard to which they design everything for it. So I think that works perfectly fine for us. We're not in the market to have this long term. Um, it probably will last us about five years, and from then we can get something that's like maybe a little bit more powerful if we're doing more um, in intensive work for our YouTube channel. But for right now, we're not doing too much. Um, so this will work perfectly fine for us. It's just that I wish we had like one terabyte worth of storage, but you know, these, you can either pay two or more hundred dollars for that. But I think 512 is okay. We like the form factor size of it is really small. As you can see, look at that, that's really tiny. So that's where this all comes in from. And how we end up picking this up is because we got stimulated in. The government gave us $600, so I decided to invest it into AMPM Adventures. So I, uh, you better thank me if you're uh, a subscriber to the channel because we're just investing this into you all. Because you enjoy what we watch, we're giving back. So let's just cut this open and check it out. Yeah, $600 is not a lot of money, to be honest. Um, but we're stimulating the Apple economy, like I said. Even though they probably don't need it, but we need to keep everybody happy and smiling at AMP Adventures. So this is not just for us, but this is also for you. Ooh, look at this. I just unboxed this, and this is like sexy beyond sexy. I mean, I, I can't say that like in one of the videos, but this is pretty sexy. This is kind of like this white aluminum metal here, and that's pretty nice. I usually like a darker one, gun metal, that type of stuff, but this looks pretty cool. And the way it shines off the light is pretty cool. Apple always has the greatest unboxing experiences. Look at that, this goes right up to the edge. Neat. Pull that out, and then your little desktop comes out. Look at that. How tiny that is. That is so small. Oh, first thing first. It feels really nice. Well, it doesn't feel nice because it has a little pocket cover. But it does feel nice when I touch the metal. It's actually very light. Lighter than I expected it was going to be. It feels like it's more heavy because of the aluminum than the components inside, which is pretty crazy. But, let's just open this top part right here. Designed by Apple in California. Probably not made in California though. So what we have here is the Mac Mini. Tells you how to hook it up. Instructions. We don't read those here because we are the best unboxers. So we know how all this kind of works. We have a cool silver sticker to match the aesthetics of our silver Mac Mini, which is pretty awesome. We'll pull the rest of the stuff out. Um, what do we have here? We have the power plug. Cool, look at that. That is pretty awesome. Oof, there we go. There is the power cord. I think that's pretty much it. Notice that the box is just kind of cushion for the device. So we'll push that out of the way and we'll just look at this thing right here. That is so nice. This, we'll just put the knife to the side. We'll just keep going through and opening up this cool piece of tech. Look at that! Shiny, so small. Well, that's my mitts, but the size of my mitts, look at that. That is so dope. So that's where we're gonna do a lot of our editing now. Uh, I usually do a lot of videos on my laptop, which is a MacBook Pro 13 inch, about like five years old. Uh, it, it still edits very well, it's just that it's starting to show its age, so when it comes time to like render out videos, it takes a little, quite a bit of time. Uh, so just to make it short, make my life a little bit easier, because sometimes I stay up until like one in the morning uploading videos because it then takes forever to render out. Um, Twenty minute video takes about like an hour. Uh, Fifteen minute video takes about forty five minutes, and then five, fifteen. So you can do the math, and so like. The longer videos, like the AM, PM, Adventures in Real Life, you know, those are like probably about like 30 to an hour long videos. And so those may take like three or, you know, an hour, hour and a half to two hours to render out. Um, the Apple logo has this really cool like plastic, like grippy plastic on the top, which is pretty sexy. So this is what we got it for because M1 chip is pretty beast. 
it can chew through all that type of stuff really, really well. It has dedicated encoders in there so it can do compression and all that good stuff. So we are super excited to kind of modernize our system. And since everything from this point forward with Apple is gonna be all on the new ARM architecture, it's better to kind of get it on the ground floor. floor. And instead of getting the uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch, uh, we decided to get something that's a little bit more dedicated, and that's what we got the Mac Mini. And plus, it's really you know fairly cheap. Uh, it doesn't come with like you know a screen or a mouse and keyboard or anything like that. But for like about you know 800 to 900 dollars, I mean you can get a really decent uh, system to, to uh, make your creative needs come to life, and that's what this is. And so with the stimulated che stimulated check <laughs> with the check. Um, you know, it only comes with be about like $300 extra on top of that, so that's not too bad. And we're also up in the economy, like I said before. Uh, the base bottom has a really nice little rubber thing, says so Mac Mini right here, that's so sexy. Uh, lucky for me, I have like all the components that I've got it with, you know, plug it into our router, has the uh, Thunderbolt port right here too. Um, the older Mac Minis had four, but they kind of reduced it because of probably the new architecture was probably able and able to handle like four ports. But I think in the future they're going to probably figure that out and then optimize it for this whole system on a chip. Has HDMI out as well as USB 3.1, I believe, and a headphone jack. But the cool thing about this has Wi-Fi 6, so I can just think, you know, hook everything up through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Has the probably latest Bluetooth, Bluetooth, what is it, 5 now? So, I have a keyboard, I have a mouse, I have all those things already, and I already have a battle station as you can, as you see in, in our other videos. And so this is just gonna slot right into that place, and it's gonna work fairly well. So I'm really excited to check this out and be able to see what this does for us. We're planning to like, do a lot of more creative stuff in 2021 as opposed to what happened in 2022. We were like put to hit the ground running and then all of a sudden COVID happened and then everything stopped. So this thing here is pretty sweet. I like it. I'm really excited to check it out. I really want to see what the M1 can do and how it works for our workflow and everything else. So I'm super excited. And this thing is a beaut. Not gonna lie, it's pretty sexy. Look at that.